Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the circus. Before I begin I just wanted to let y'all know I have a lot of videos planned, which I'm hoping at least one will be finished and posted sometime this week, for now though, I come back with some project goal news. A couple minor updates and fixes were released along with a new code, which I'll show you shortly, but first let's talk about the minor updates and fixes. So firstly, now you will now be unable to enter any teleporter door, such as the entrance of CCG building, Gold Cafe rooftop base, and the arena by construction site. While in combat, combat will activate every time you get hit, and thanks to Adam, one of the head scripters of Project Ghoul. We now know combat remains active for 90 seconds of not being attacked. Which in summary means if you're attacked, you can't run in buildings for safety. Oh also, it appears safe zones have the same counter as combat, which means if you're attacked, safe zone isn't safe, until you're not attacked, for another 90 seconds. In other words, it means safe zones aren't safe, until you're out of combat. Very interesting updates if I'm being honest, but wait, there's more. It seems some UI elements have been added, not really sure what this means. Oh, and it looks like they removed stamina bar for both ghoul and CCG, and removed hunger bar for CCG, not too bad, though the server I'm in probably hasn't updated yet, but here's what it looks like. And if you haven't noticed, our user in yen placement is now in the upper left side of our screens. Well I can only speak for mobile on that one. Also take a look at these icons, I believe they're to show us the cooldowns for blocking, parring, and dash. But anyway, now the moment you all been waiting for, the new code pause the video if needed. I also have it posted in the description of this video. Before I go, there's one more thing to talk about. Project Ghoul's blocking and parring system has a couple fixes and changes. As you know there's now a cooldown for parrying and blocking. Also as I said earlier, the new icons on the bottom of the screen were added, they represent parry, block, and dodge. All in all blocking feels a lot different. Let me know what you think of it, for now I think it's time I go. Thanks for watching everyone, stay tuned for some awesome new content. Oh, and pay attention to what I post in the community section of my channel. It will be hints of my next videos. Anyway, bye bye everyone.